So Elijah Moore traded away from the New York Jets. And over the last couple seasons here, Moore just hasn't gotten anything going. And to be honest, it hasn't been his fault. Zach Wilson's been a train wreck for this Jet team. And the few games he did play with Mike White, he had a couple decent games over the last couple years. But right here, Browns get Elijah Moore in a 2023 third rounder for a second rounder. So right here, Jets now have two second rounders. And the Jets possibly could use one of those second rounders and try to trade for Aaron Rodgers with it. But anyway, last season, Elijah Moore down year for him. 37 catches, 466 receiving yards, a touchdown on 65 targets. And that goes to a Cleveland Brown team where he'll most likely be the third wide receiver. But I think he could be a good playmaker with the Sean Watson, obviously. You got Amari Cooper had a great year last year with his new team, the Browns, then. Then you had Donovan People Jones have a good year. And now you got Elijah Moore, so three solid receivers over there in Cleveland. In terms of fantasy football, he's a guy I'm going to take in the later rounds. Elijah Moore, 10th round or deeper, I would try to get him as a bench guy. Or at best, obviously, a flex option here is Elijah Moore because he has big upside. And it just never worked out in New York. It never got on the ball. He was on the bench for whatever reasons or whatever the case may be. And he just needed a change of scenery. So I think in Cleveland, he could be a decent playmaker as Elijah Moore. So Elijah Moore and the New York Jets... That project is over for the Jets, and they move on for more after trade rumors over the last couple seasons. And he goes to Cleveland at the end of the 2023 season.